Hey everybody, AD Jackson 330 here, and today I'm filming a plan with me in my classic sized happy planner for the week of July 31st through August 6th. I'm going to be featuring this limited addiction kit by my newest addiction entitled Tropical Vibes, and it is gold foiled throughout. It is so pretty, so I'm going to do a quick little flip through of that. These are the full boxes. Then we have some checklists, some half boxes, little flags, water tracker sidebars, headers. My favorite parts are always the bows and the weekend banner. And we've got the full check boxes, the date covers, some more checklists and half boxes, and then the icons and a smaller weekend banner. And then last we have the washi and the different quarter boxes with the icons such as paydays, bills due, TVs, things like that. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is lay down the date covers. And one thing that I do like about the layout this week is that the bottom is already pink and green, which are the main colors in this kit, so I won't have to do too much covering up. I'll probably just leave this as is since it matches pretty well. And I, her limited addiction kits are always my favorite. The foiling that she does is just so gorgeous. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is lay down the to-do headers right across here and then the full boxes here. Okay, and next up I'm going to lay down the full box checklists. All right, now that that is finished, I'm going to lay down the full boxes. I've kind of gotten the habit of really liking the method of alternating the full boxes like this. So I think I'm going to continue to do that. And I'm trying to use up as many of these gorgeous summer kits that I have stockpiled. My son starts school this week, so I don't know how much longer I'll actually be in the summer mode, but they're too pretty to just leave sitting around for another year. So be prepared for the summer layouts. I am very excited to see what shops come out with for the fall kits though. It's the only time of the year that I like to see orange and yellows and browns. So, and I have seen a few sneak peeks of the ones that my newest addiction is working on. And let me tell you, you guys are gonna flip. They are so, so pretty. And I'll probably end up just using this last one over here on the sidebar like I normally do. So I'm gonna set this over to the side for now. And I'm going to go back and lay down the remembers and extra things on these headers right here. And then while I'm starting on these, I just want to say I know that I'm fast forwarding a lot through this one. And the only reason that is, and I'm not sure if it's because of my camera settings or my computer or my internet connection or what, but just to upload like a 15 minute video is taking over two hours. I'm not sure if that's normal or what. Um, so if you guys want the longer, more chatty versions, I can do those. If you'd rather just see the stickers and <laughs> nothing else, then I can do that too. Uh, so if you have a preference either way, let me know in the comments. Because I don't mind spending the extra time doing it if that's what people want to watch. Um, but I know for me, usually whenever I would watch them, I prefer to watch the shorter ones that said, you know, basically, this is where the sticker is from, this is why I put it here, this is why I think this matches, stuff like that. Um, and then, yeah, I just got on with it. There were some times when I liked to watch the real chatty ones, but not usually. I think it helps also if it's someone that I like follow on Instagram and maybe chat with and know a little bit more. I'd want to watch their chatty videos. But if I see a kit that I just want to look up how other people have set it up, then normally I just look for a quick version or a sped up version. Uh, I did want to go ahead and start on the sidebar now. Just gonna lay down this tracker over here. And then I will probably forget to use this. I am terrible about tracking my water intake but maybe this really cute sticker will help motivate me. So do you guys just like keep your, if you do track your water intake, do you keep your planner open all day long and go mark it as soon as you have some water? Or do you like write it on your phone or something? Is there a process to that that I'm missing? Oh, I wanted to do the no spend too. 
I've been so good this month and not bought anything, and now I think I'm gonna just splurge after next payday and go ahead and get that Foxy fix I've had my eye on. And now I think I'm ready to start planning out my day-to-day -day stuff. It's not a whole lot going on this week, so it should be pretty quick, and then I can get to the rest of the decorating. Oh, I wanted to show you first the, um, the washies that I pulled out to use this week. So I've got some bows. Of course, these are simply gilded and they are foiled. And then I've got the two palm leaves and these are from a Hobby Lobby tube. I thought those would go really well. Then I pulled out all of these that I have from Washi Gang. We've got some foiled pineapples, green, pink, and gold foil metallics. And then the Planner Society Washi from, I believe, the May Kit. And it had a ton of palm leaves in that. I've got some more stuff pulled to the side. So I can show you after I get everything set up about how great these two go together. So let's see. To start with for the trash days, I know that her kits normally just come with a one trash can. So I'm going to pull out my stickerific trash cans to use. I'm going to use these green shades right here. And my trash days are Monday and Thursday. So I always just put them in the corner down here. So I will remember to bring them out to the curb. And recycling is Wednesday, so I'm going to use the Stickerific recycling bin. Okay, and then we have payday. I actually have two paydays this week. So I'm going to be using the payday banner and this payday sticker to mark both of those. All right, and I've got four, five, yeah, five bills due. So actually it might help me to Make a little tracker over here and add that onto it. Where did I put those checklists? Right, let me see if that one will fit. And when I'm trying to see if something will fit, I always just use this little kind of transparent area where I've already used one. So this one isn't quite going to fit. So I'll probably just cut off this last little bit and make it fit. Do a little bit of sticker surgery here. And that way it'll just plug right into the bottom of that one. And here we have a bill tracker. And I only have five, so one, two, three, four, five. So I can cover up this top one. Or I could just put it over here. Okay, so I know on Tuesday and Thursday we have two big events in our household. It is our son's open house day for his school on Tuesday. And then the first day of school is Thursday. So I'll just add some pink ones here since this row is mostly the green full boxes. It gives me a nice, um, a nice amount of space to write those events down. And then Sunday night is Game of Thrones night. So we'll just add another box down there for that. And then I'm going to use one of these quarter boxes and this plan icon sticker to mark my planning session for Wednesday. So I always try to do it on Sunday nights and then Wednesday night so I can catch up with anything that I've missed or add stuff that's come up throughout the week. And I do keep track also on my phone, on the calendar and on the notes app. And then I just kind of compile it all together. All right, and then I also pulled out this sampler and this is from Fox and Pip. She did this for my YouTube collab. It's available in her shop, so check it out. And I thought the colors were really cute together. So I wanted to add one of these darling little girls somewhere, probably right up here. It's cute just to have it on there because I don't use them enough even though I'm trying to also hoard them. And then I pulled out these stickers and these are from Washi Gang. And the square ones fit um, the width of these Happy Planner boxes just about perfectly. But I kind of wanted to use one over here to cover this up. And then since there's this little space right here where I misjudged where I was putting down the first sticker, I can use some skinny washi to cover that. I'm just going to line this up right at the bottom of the date banner. Maybe just a strip of this metallic gold from Washi Gang. Well, it looks like it's going to need two layers of tape whichever way I go. And then I'll just go back and add one of these silverware icons since I'm going to be using this to do meal tracking. And I'll add that right here in the middle. Right, and then I'm going to go through and add a little bit of this washi. I know for sure I want to use some of this Simply Gilded Bow Washi. This is from her recent Tropical um, collection. And then maybe on Friday as well. Do it at the bottom this time. 
I think I want to use some of this Planner Society washi down here on Sunday night. Looks like I can fit three of those girls. So instead of having to roll it out, I'm just going to cut kind of a straight line down through there and then rub it in. How does that look? Pretty good. All right, let's see what else, what else? Oh, I pulled out a few of these stickers as well from the May Planner Society kit. Oh, I thought that this uh, little pin cup right here would be really cute to mark the first day of school. I think I'm gonna do a, the smaller version of it though. All right, and then I'll probably save these just in case I need some fillers for blank areas throughout the week. I want to say that's about all of the actual plans I have for now. I know more stuff will come out throughout the week, especially with my son's first week of school starting. But um, for now, it looks good, so I'm going to add it back to the planner real quick. All right, and I did want to show you guys just really quickly um, this page marker that I made. And this was inspired by Planner Chan on Instagram. She makes the cutest ones. But basically, I just took um, some scrapbook paper, cut it down, rounded the corners, added some washi, and this die cut from the Planner Society kit, laminated it, added a pocket from the Target Dollar Spot, and then stuffed it with some cute little goodies and a little paper clip. And you can keep it in your planner or in your TNs. And I just wanted to show you because I thought that it matched this particular kit really well with the colors and the theme. And then these are from the May Planner Society kit. So I love how cohesive they are together. Be prepared for lots of Instagram pictures this week because I am loving it. And the Planner Society kit also came with this bow in May. So if you got the May Planner Society kit and the Tropical Vibes kit for My Newest Addiction, you are set. This is going to be just a gorgeous week for you. I really wish I had a TN to set all this up in, but it's so pretty. I'm actually going to be using this tassel from Hot Pink, Hope Pink Fluff. And this is a flamingo that I added. I actually got it as a keychain from Walmart two years ago, I want to say. And I'll be adding that. She has different options for different planners. But because I have the Happy Planner, I had to get this kind of closure. So basically just thread it through the disc holes here. There you go, a little tassel. On the 4th, My Newest Addiction is reopening her shop. She's been in the process of moving, but she is reopening. And don't forget to use my code when you place an order. That code is Angelica15. Not only will you save 15%, but you'll also get this custom freebie sampler. And I think that does it for this week, you guys. I hope that you all enjoyed watching. And if you did, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, follow me over on Instagram. And don't forget to join My Newest Addiction's Facebook group too. Lots of fun things happening over there. Uh, thank you all so much for watching.